Hello students you all must have heard about series and parallel circuit a lot in your physics electricity magnetism but do you have any confusion in understanding these concepts then this video is going to help you with that so students first you should understand what is series and parallel and in this video i'll also talk about how the current flows and how the voltage varies in series and parallel okay and we should also know that here in series and parallel how the derivation comes and how ohm's law is used in this so without wasting time let us quickly go into this and but you should know that in this video there are in text uh, in video questions so please do try to attempt it and yeah so those who are answering the question their names will be lucky people will be selected as i told you lucky people will be selected and their name shall be called out for the shout outs so without wasting time let us get into the video so first let me tell you how series and parallel look like so if you see series circuit they look in this way in series circuit you see two resistors i'll take any components which usually in series you can do with any components but i will show you with resistors so in series two resistors are joined in such a way that their ends one end the one end of one resistor as you can see these are two these are the two resistors right now you see the end of one resistor joins to the starting of another resistor look at this point the end of one resistor goes to the starting of the other resistor so this is how they are joined this particular arrangement is called series arrangement and the next type of arrangement that is basically called as parallel arrangement right in parallel arrangement you see if there are two resistors okay if there are two resistors those two resistors are going to have their ends okay as you can see those two resistors this is resistor number 1 and this is resistor number 2 these two resistors are going to have their resistance the two ends connected simultaneously that means if you see the startings are connected together the endings of the resistors are connected together the starting of the resistor ending of the resistor but in series you see end of one resistor is connected to the starting of another resistor okay so usually this is how series and parallel look like a general view it is okay to tell you what in simple words series and parallel this is how generally they are connected now before we go and understand the different implications of this you should also know that ohm's law exists ohm's law says that voltage across any conductor is proportional to the current flowing through it okay voltage is proportional to current flowing through it and to remove the proportionality we have that resistance there okay voltage is equal to i into r because any proportionality if we want we need to see if there's any proportionality we need to if in order to read to sorry in order to remove the proportionality i need to put a constant and here that constant is resistance so i have something called v is equal to i r or i can also write r is equal to v by i r is equal to v by i so this is basic ohm's law okay this is basic ohm's law now using this ohm's law and using the idea of series and parallel which i just now seen i can actually derive a lot of things about series and parallel circuit so let us go for series circuit first okay as you can see this is the series circuit let us work on series circuit and their implication right so one second i just let's work on series circuit and their implication 
this is uh, basically series circuit right so talking about series circuit let me draw three resistors in series as you can see resistor number one resistor number two then we have resistor number three sorry we have resistor number one simple way resistor number two then i have resistor number three okay three resistors are connected i'll tell you students there are two ways this is a representation this is the resistors representation of cbsc and if you are an ig and ib your resistors is represented in this way okay so do not be confused do not be confused at all okay so i will draw the both the one you have series also you have you have the international curriculums resistance and you have cbsc resistance also which i'm drawing to here see this is for cbsc this is how you fall for cbsc resistance and this is how you do for the curriculum for igcsc right so just don't be worried about it just understand what is the physics happening in this okay now you see when all the resistors and i'll give you the resistance value also the resistance values r1 r2 and r3 same thing is for even for the town one okay just the, just the symbol is different nothing else just the symbol is different now <coughs> three resistors are kept in series and r1 r2 r3 now you see all of them are in a straight line so what is going to happen if you connect an external battery to it if you connect an external battery to it okay you are connecting an external battery or you're connecting an external voltage this voltage difference will create a current to flow who's providing this voltage difference v this battery's potential v is providing this potential difference and this will cause the current to flow inside the resistor since they, they all are connected in series same amount of current will flow through them isn't it because whatever current is flowing through r1 same current has to flow through r2 also same current has to flow through r2 also right and same current has to flow to r3 okay same current is flowing but you know what voltages get separate divided in that r1 will have a different voltage r2 will have a different voltage r3 will have a different voltage so i will write voltage v1 v2 and v3 okay so understand in series current remains the same but voltage becomes different that's the most catch that's the catch of the day okay voltage becomes different current remains the same voltage becomes different now to start with you should know that this voltage that you are seeing right huh? this voltage that you are seeing who, who's providing the full voltage who's providing the total voltage to the circuit v the battery is providing the total voltage that total voltage is going to be distributed among these series holders of resistors okay so i would say that v should be equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 okay remember there's voltage that is getting divided but your current remains the same so that is the thing that you should remember voltage gets divided current remains the same okay now let's go to the mathematics part please don't tell me that you hate mathematics let's go to the mathematics part because that is where the derivation comes okay now you see here students let's go to the next page every page i have to change the color yeah okay you see v1 will be equal to i into r1 of course this comes from ohm's law then v2 comes from i into r2 yes this also comes from ohm's law right v into into i into r2 then i have v3 is i into r3 
okay so once i have this particular knowledge i can apply that in the previous equation that i got v is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 okay v is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 okay so just substitute all these values you get v is equal to i into r1 v is equal to i into r1 plus i into r2 right plus i into r3 so you take all the i common outside because i is common right take all the i common outside then you have v is equal to i into r1 okay i into r1 plus r2 plus r3 you so you are getting somewhere here yeah, see you are getting to a certain equation okay now you have v by i is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 okay now you see v by i is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 now students what is this going to be v by i total voltage by total current now remember students this total current i which is flowing actually depends on the total resistance this total current actually depends on total resistance so this i is going to be decided only when you know the total resistance okay this i is decided the i depends on the total resistance here if the total resistance is more remember for students for series if the always when you add the resistors together you will yield up into more resistance okay that's why we say that in series circuit usually current value is low because resistance value is more in series resistance value is more in series so this i depends on the total resistance this i does not depend on r1 r2 r3 separately but it depends on together of them and together they form total resistance in series that is a formula which we are going to reach so according to ohm's law v by i is r right according to ohm's law v by i is r isn't it now this v by i is going to be the total resistance itself okay so now the total resistance in your circuit is r1 plus r2 plus r3 so students this is the resistance in series okay this is the resistance in series and this is how you must remember it i hope this thing is clear to you this is for series right now let me take you to the parallel circuit let me take you to the parallel circuit and this is how the parallel circuit will look like okay to keep it in the background all the time now in parallel circuit this is how the circuit is which i told you that the ends are connected with each other the ends are connected with each other like this okay and i will have r1 r2 then i have r3 here now don't have any confusion you should know that what you are having here is okay you should know that this is how even it looks like in the different representation of international curriculum okay okay i will draw a little more as all right so yeah i have drawn this resistors r1 r2 and r3 and r1 r2 and r3 now i'm connecting it to a external battery because i need to connect it to external battery or else the current is not going to flow isn't it okay now the specialty of 
this particular connection is the speciality of this particular connection is that if the voltage is v applied externally the v i'm applying a battery of voltage v it means that all the resistors who are in parallel will have same voltage okay r1 r2 r3 are going to have same voltage in this case it is equal to v in this case because battery is also kind of connected in parallel with them can you see battery is also kind of connected in parallel with them so in this case your r1 r2 r3 is going to have same voltage as v not every time but the general rule general rule is all the resistors in parallel will have same voltage general rule but in this case it is equal to v okay so the voltage is same for them but current is different can you see the branches different branches r1 r2 r3 are different branches last case it was in same branch in this case r1 r2 r3 are in different branches hence they all have different current value flowing through them all right so i will say the current values i1 for this current values i2 for this i1 i2 and current values i3 for this okay now voltage is same so what can be added current can be added okay so i can say that my total current that is flowing through the circuit okay my total current that is flowing through the circuit total current is a total current total current which is produced from the battery which is produced from the battery so my total current is going to be sum of i1 plus i2 plus i3 this is my total current value i1 plus i2 plus i3 now again let me take the help of ohm's law ohm's law says that i is equal to v by r right i is equal to v by r so now let me make my equations ready for it oh no what is this yeah let me make the equations ready for it all right now you see my i1 is equal to v by r1 my i2 is equal to v by r2 right because v is same for everyone my i3 is equal to v by r3 okay so remember this logic we have to remember voltage remains same but the resistance value is different remember that logic okay now my total current i is equal to uh, let me just put v by r1 okay v by r1 plus v by r2 then plus v by r3 also isn't it v by r3 so i can take v common outside from here v is taken common out i have 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 okay 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 we are 2 plus 1 by r3 now i will send the v down there simple mathematics if you don't understand the mathematics it's very difficult do not do physics without understanding mathematics warning okay now i have i by v is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 okay 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 so your understanding should be the perfect understanding so do not have do not have this wavering understanding of the subject if you do not have the perfect understanding you are not going to prosper in physics okay so 1 by v is also 1 by r because we saw that v by i is r so i by v is 1 by r okay so i have 1 by r is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 okay 
Now students, this is the equation for resistance when they are connected in parallel. Okay, this is the equation for when resistors are connected in parallel. Right? So, keeping all the simple logics in mind, I am able to get my answer for this. Right? I am able to get my answer for this. So, what am I going to do here is, yeah. Now, let me bring you to the next page. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, a quick, I would say, a quick outcome, I will tell you. If you connect equal resistance in two different ways, one is series and one parallel, you should know which is going to produce the highest resistance. Let's take two ohms. Okay. Let us take a two or I'll say, let's take three ohms. Imagine I have three ohm resistance connected in series. One, two, three. Three ohms, three ohms, because you know ohms is the unit of resistance. So in series connection, you are in series connection, you are going to have three plus three plus three that is going to be 9 ohms in parallel connection same 3 I am connecting parallel connection you see I have 3 ohms then I have 3 ohms then I have 3 ohms okay same same thing I am connecting parallel yeah I have 3 I have 3 I have 3 you see 1 by R is equal to 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3. So 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 students you know logically it is 1 by 1. How? You take 3 as common. 1 plus 1 plus 1. So 3 by 3 is going to be 1 by 1. So from this 1 by R is equal to 1 by 1. So R is equal to 1 ohm. Right? Now you see, in series, you have more resistance value. In parallel, you have less resistance value. That's what I told you when I was teaching it. Right? So, more current will flow when you connect the same resistors in parallel and less current will flow when you connect same resistance in series. Okay? Series produces more resistance and parallel produces less resistance this is what i wanted to tell you today and yeah i hope you understood this particular concept the students quickly let us look at some in video questions please do answer them the voltage gets divided and the current remains same in the dash circuit then we have two equal resistors in parallel will flow dash current you can actually pause the video and see the answer. Then you have which configuration of same resistance will flow the highest amount of current through it. You have A series, B parallel. Right? Now, with this, uh, with this students, I hope you are able to answer it. Now, coming back to you, please do try to answer this. You see in the description box, you have your this link to answer these questions lucky people will be selected in the and in the next week video you will be having your name called out so you can be that lucky person and if you want to know if your name is called out or not please do subscribe and be updated right students so with this i will end this particular video i hope you had a fruitful session of understanding series and parallel the basic 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 understanding of how to differentiate between series and parallel so in future you will be getting more videos on based on this so i will end the session today with that students
adios hello students i hope you found this useful this video was interesting for you now students as a part of my journey to make physics easy for you i have started an initiative and that is i am going to help the students who are in their ibdp level who are going to take their asa level examination and those who are in cbsc going to take the cbsc examination i am going to provide one to one training for you and in this one to one training i mean that it's going to be a personal attention i will be taking class for you sub personally and also i am going to make a road map for you until your examination so i am ready to help for you in physics and to be successful in the particular examination that you are going to take but students let me tell you my time is limited so i might not be able to take everyone who is registering so it's better first come first so and students i hope this thing will be useful for you and if you want to register please click in the link below and do not forget to like share and subscribe to physics revolution so until then adios